Okay. My name is Jamie Blaine, and I'm a chapter leader under the National Action Network in New Jersey, uh, Paxton, New Jersey, actually. So, we're down here in Selma, Alabama, and I just want to know about Bloody Sunday. So, we have some of the young people, the college students that are on the bus, some of the young people from New Jersey are filming, but we're right here with Reverend Sailor from Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Okay, so Mark. Thank you, Amari, and thank you as well. You're welcome. I'm Reverend Saylor from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm the Southeast Regional Director for National Action Network. So Bloody Sunday is a time that we have sort of immortalized. We've seen the images of John Lewis and C.T. Vivian and all of those civil rights leaders walking across the bridge when it became incredibly violent. And that was when John Lewis took that famous blow across his face and it's become immortalized in the minds of young people. So we've seen the images, but what we have to remember is that we're still taking blows of the same sort. It's just not physical. Every time they attack student loans, that's a blow. Every time they attack minimum wage, that's a blow. Every time they attack voting rights to make it more difficult for African American persons to cast their vote through IDs and other requirements, that's another blow we take. So this is our generation's opportunity to not only reenact that march, but to say to the powers that be, it won't be bloody in our lifetime because we fight back. We fight back nonviolently through voter participation, through the activism of students. There are 65 students from three colleges on this bus who are all leaders in their own right. And we are determined that our generation is going to protect the civil rights gains that were won for us by the generation which came ahead of us. Awesome. So, we're getting ready to march. Uh, everybody's getting on the buses, as you can see. And they are young, gifted, and black. That one of the most effective freedom fighting organizations in the country are here. And we will pass the torch from the preparers of the breach, Jesse Jackson's organization push, we will now pass this torch to Al Sharpton and these freedom fighters and these awesome young people that he has. And we'll also pass the baton. Preparers of the breach, touch it. All right, we ready to march? Yeah. We are walking in the footsteps of those that paved the way for us, and we are committed to keep the dream alive. We're here from all over the country, Nash Action Network. I see students that came in from Atlanta with us, all the way to New Jersey. Uh, I'm joined by the Attorney General of Black America, Ben Crump, is in the house. The mother of Ahmad Aubrey is joining us marching this morning. The brother of George Floyd, Felonis Floyd, is marching. And we have a George Floyd right here in Alabama. The Bradford case. I want Attorney Crump to tell us about it and introduce the parents. And then we're going to head down Highway 80 like they did 57 years ago. Let me say how eternally grateful we are to uh, Senator Hank Sanders and, and Fire Sanders that kept this alive. There's nobody better that personifies our people than Hank Sanders and Fire Sanders. And we love them. They're the true spirit of Selma. They keep Amelia Boykin Robinson's spirit alive. It's about the grassroots people, not the microphone, microwave activists that warm up for a second and then cool right off. It's about the real troopers. We thank Bishop Grant from Rainbow Push that's here with us. Bishop Grant was working out early this morning, so he'd be in shape to do another 10 miles. I caught him in the gym working out. Reverend Jackson is on the way. He and I were up late last night 
I'm a little younger than him, so he took a little time getting out of bed, but he's on his way. He's right behind me, so we all respect. We are Africans. We respect our elders. We don't disrespect our elders. Only a straight dog piss on his roots. All right. Ben Crump, tell us about these couple that's going to help lead us off. Thank you so much, Reverend Al Sharpton. Give a great round of applause for the president and founder of the National Action Network, Reverend Al Sharpton. I have the honor of not only uh, being here with Wanda, Ahmaud Arbery's mother, Falonis Floyd, uh, George Floyd's brother, we have Breonna Taylor's aunt, Bianca here. We also have Jacob Blake Sr., the father of Jacob Blake. Y'all remember Kenosha, Wisconsin. National Action Network being on the front line with all these tragedies all over the country. But now, we're here in Alabama, and we can't go saying we're going to stand for George Floyd and Breonna Taylor a thousand miles away and not be right here in Alabama standing with the family of E.J. Bradford. That's right. He was killed on Thanksgiving night. You all may remember three years ago in a mall. The police admitted they shot the wrong person. Wow. His mother, April, his father, E.J. Sr., you remember, Fire, it's it's unbelievable that the first black prosecutor elected in Birmingham, Alabama, you know, that's where they took the Confederate statues down too. They were ready to give justice to this mother and father, the family of E.J. Prophet. And Reverend Al, then the Attorney General of the state of Alabama, Marshall, came and usurped the authority from the black people who had elected for the first time the first black district attorney in Birmingham, Alabama, and literally said, Reverend Al, your votes don't matter. You, It was okay for y'all to pick cotton, but y'all can't pick your own district attorney. So that's why we're marching today, because the struggle continues. The mission is relevant as ever, and the battle has not been won yet. So we march, fire. We march, Senator Sanders. We march for George Floyd. We march for Breonna Taylor. We march for Ahmaud Arbery. And we march for E.J. Bradford Jr. right here in Alabama. Y'all with me? So we, as, as we get ready to march with the family of Ahmaud, with the family of Breonna Taylor, with the family of George Floyd with us this morning, because that's the next wave of the struggle as we fight for the right to vote. We vote because we want to straighten out the criminal justice system. You cannot straighten out the general, the Christ criminal justice system without voting. Some of, some of my young activists tell me I don't believe in the system. I want to build a business. You can't have a business without a business district designation. You got to vote to get that. You cannot get reparations unless somebody in the Senate vote to give you reparations. Everything starts with voting. That's why we're here. And we are led by our queen in Alabama, the head of our chapter in Birmingham, Queen Sheila Tyson. Want to say something, Sheila? She says she don't want to talk. All right, we're going to have fire make an announcement. I want to recognize my national field director who does such a great job, Reverend Devest Toon, Damon Byer from my Atlanta office, and Trudy Grant from my South Carolina. They all coordinated, and I'm glad to see my brother, Reverend Kenny Glasgow. Don't be messing with Kenny, his brother's in state, yo. I'm here. All right, Fire got an announcement and we're going to line up and, and, and march. People worried about the rain. They marched in all kind of weather 57 years ago. Reverend Rivers is also your man. Yes. Reverend Nelson is here. Brothers and sisters, I want y'all to know that Ananias Shaw, a mentally ill black man, was killed in Selma and nothing was done. He was killed by a black cop. I know that's uncomfortable, but it's real. 
I want, um, Rev, I just want a picture of you passing the torch. I want somebody to push and uh, uh, repairs. We need that. We need that image of y'all passing, holding the torch. Uh, where is uh, opera? Um, I would hold the baton and pass it to them. Would somebody capture this picture? Passing the. Um, so we have Operation Butch and Preparers of the Beach passing the torch and the and the torch to Black Action Network. community. She's been the face of our struggle. She stood up and made this country deal with the dignity of her, the value of the life of her son. And even when we got the conviction in the state court, she would not let the feds make a deal. She held them and made them go to trial and convict them again for hate crimes. The mother the only spokesperson of Ahmad Aubrey, Wanda Cooper Jones in the house, gonna march with us this morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm so glad to be here, and thank you guys for all your support. Thank you. All right. No vote, no peace. No vote, no peace. No vote, no peace. No
along with Poorhouse man John Eves, I was deputized to also register people to vote. So that's just the start of what we're about to do at HBC News what we're walking for today. So I just want to shout out John Eves and his movement, and, and that's just the start of what we're about to do. We deputize all of our students and college students to be able to register other college students to vote. And as the first, one of the first to start that, and deputize people to be able to vote, I'm amazing. It's just great and to honor the people. Awesome. And where are you from? Stone Mountain, Georgia, but originally Cape Coast County. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to be getting your information and a lot of other information because I'm trying to create some mentors for New Jersey young people. Yes, ma'am. It's a lot of murder. I know it's a lot of murder, killing everywhere. But I'm just trying to see how I can get some young people to take interest in some people in New Jersey, some young men, you know, of color so that they can come down to the college exactly. and do what they need to do as exactly. young black men and yes, women. So I'm pleased to meet you and I'm glad to see you down here. Yes, My name is Jamie Bland and this is what I'm going to be doing uh, for God. Yes, okay, oh, okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We're going to be making sure that we partner in with some of these young people and these colleges down here so that we can appoint different young people in New Jersey with mentors at, down at these colleges, Brown, uh, uh, Clark, and the whole chef, so many of them I can name all day, but I'm just proud, I'm just proud, because there is, uh, 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 in black, there is power, okay, thank you. Yeah.